Make-A-Wish grants wishes to children between the ages of 3 and 17 who are living with life-threatening medical conditions. Each wish that we grant is unique and is really only limited by a child's own imagination. I work very closely with the Social Entrepreneurship Awards, so it's lovely to see the next generation not just looking how to make a buck, they also want to know how they can improve society and, uh, and improve their communities. So it was great to see more entrants and the depth of entries was much better. Our idea was to make garden ornaments from recycled materials and to make them sensory. As the year went on, we developed our ideas into actually making sensory products for special needs children. When we grant a child's wish, we have an impact on the entire family. And this enables the child to become the hero in the family. It enables the siblings and the parents to have a moment in time where you know something, they forget the hospital, they forget the treatment, the injections, the doctors, and even the illness. And most of the photographs that we get back in from our families, it's just this beaming smile. And certainly some of the feedback that comes back from our parents is that you gave us back our child. We've become a normal family again. We were just talking and brainstorming in class. We noticed a lot of girls had very long hair. And obviously one of the effects of cancer treatment is that you lose your hair and that can be really horrible for girls, you know. So we wanted to do something to help with that. Um, so we managed to gather enough people to get their hair cut and the people are very willing to support worthy causes. This year, Mr. Kenny, our good work teacher, picked four students out of each class to come together and we thought of something colourful and made people more happy, so we decided fairy doors. The new thing that I kind of learned was the new woodwork skills, you know, working with wood, craft skills, improving along those. Entrepreneurship is a, a good way to, you know, look at things and to actually see how much money we were raising for the children that were sick and to know that we actually did something for them. The Kids for Wish Kids Entrepreneur Awards is now in its second year. We were overwhelmed with the number of entries. I think it's actually captured the imagination of the schools around the country. It just sort of shows that this awards programme can just continue to grow and grow and grow.